So today we're going to look at equal parts, splitting a group of objects into equal parts. Now the key to remember here is that the word equal means the same. So every part needs to be the same. Now I'm going to try and I'm going to split my group of cubes, I've got 12 of them, into parts and each part has got two in it. So as you can see, it's equal parts, one, two, three, four, five, six. And each of these parts are equal because they've both all, sorry, got two in them. Okay, so I've got six groups with two in each, which equals 12. So let's try that again with three. I've got group of three, group of three, group of three. And now out of 12, I've made four groups and with three in each group. And I know that all of these groups are equal, three in each of them. And there are no cubes left over. Coming back together again. I'm going to try this again with groups of four. Okay, so I have made three groups using 12 cubes with four in each group. So I've got three groups with four in each. And no cubes left over. So let's try that with five. So I've got four, five there, three, and five there. Oh, but I've got two in this group here. So I've got two groups that are the same, but one group, the other two. So you've got to be really careful when you're splitting things into equal groups to make sure that every group is actually equal. So try that at home if you've got uh, if you've got groups of objects to split into equal parts then do try that at home and see what groups you can come up with. So we can do the same thing with groups of pictures of, of um, groups, object, objects even, sorry. And I've got eight flowers here and I'm going to use different colours to show different groups. So I'm going to split them into groups of two to start with. Probably not the best way of going about it, but there we go. Um, so I've got one, two, three, four groups. I've got two in each group, no flowers left over. So I've got eight altogether and none left over. So let's use a different color and let's now put them in three. Now, if I put, if I have a group of three here, I have a group of three here. Ah, but I've got two left. So can I split eight into groups of three? No, I can't. Let's try groups of four. So. I'm just going to draw a grey group of four there and another one here. And I've got two groups of four there. Now I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So both groups are equal. We can also do this with pictures of grids. Now this grid has got six parts to it. And I'm first of all going to try and do, sorry it's got nine. I'm going to try and do, split this part, this group, into equal parts. So I could do a group of three, a group of three, and another group of three. Now my different colours clearly show my different groups. Now if I tried that with a six, Okay. Uh, now, let's try doing groups of two. I've got one group of two there. One group of two there. And finally, another group of two there. Okay, now there are lots. And um, one of your tasks is to experiment and explore all the different ways that you can split it into different equal parts.